Hi guys, welcome again. We Next Big Idea, it's live at Web Summit. We're having a series of conversations that are powered by the European, the European Investment Fund. And I'm here with Nun Fonseca, CEO of Sound Particles. Hi, Nun. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. We were here, uh, here uh, a year ago, and um, it's really, really good to see you, see you again. Uh, and the context of our conversation today, like the actor strike has just ended, like a, a few days ago has just ended. How did that impact your uh, business? So, of course, with all of this strike, all the productions in Hollywood have reduced or yeah. put it more or less in standby. So, of course, yeah. if there are less productions, there are less things on the pipeline. And, of course, this ends up having to have some impact uh, in uh, our business. Nonetheless, we continue to, to, to grow, to increase our revenues and pretty much trying to deploy our technology to all areas of entertainment. So Nuno is going to explain this better than I will, but you have a, a 3D software that um, it's behind movies like Dune. So how AI integrates with your software? How does it work? So at the moment, we are not using AI in the products that we already deployed. Okay? Okay. We have a lot of expertise in, in AI. We, in our team, we have five PhDs, and from those five, probably three have worked with AI, so we use internally AI all the time, uh, genetic algorithms, deep learning, all of those things. Uh, what we are actually using AI at the moment a lot is because we are creating our own technology of 3D sound over headphones because the entire entertainment industry is moving to spatial audio, but people don't have 10 speakers on their living room, so yeah. the, 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 the entire industry is desperate for a solution with 3D sound over headphones that really works. There are a few in the market, but with the several uh, handicaps yet, uh, and we're using AI a lot uh, for that. So, and that's one of the areas that we're going to deploy the technology next year, and it's going to use a massive amount of AI. In our case, we are not very um, focused on using AI to replace the professionals or something like that, but pretty much using AI to handle problems that we have in audio, and that AI can definitely help a lot the process. I'm asking you about AI because one of the main topics on the actor strike was exactly how AI yeah. is going to be used. So once was one of the main concerns. How do you did you look at that? Of course, AI it's a very tricky thing, okay? Uh, and people are still um, very concerned. Yes, there are some things that AI can definitely help, but can also create new uh, problems, uh, especially with AI being able to replace actors, their voice, even their looks mm -hmm. and all of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's something that, especially in the community, they are a little afraid of that. But at the same time, I see a lot of people like undermining, say, oh no, AI doesn't have, uh, cannot create original content and And I think, okay, if we look at the final results and we, if we cannot distinguish between the, uh, what is created by humans and what is created by AI, yes, we may have the philosophical discussion if that is art, if all of that. But the thing is, the results are very high quality. And if we are not able to distinguish between them, uh, probably we need to, to worry about that. So, Do you think it's going to upgrade the, the standard, like uh, AI it's going to require from all of us uh, a bigger standard for our output? I think it's going to be a mix. I think in some things AI will definitely improve the quality of the content that we create, but at the same time there will going to be a lot of low budget productions using AI instead of doing the right thing yeah. with very bad AI and going to end up having, okay, very bad virtual actors and things like that. So I think it's actually going to be a mix. In some cases, AI definitely will improve the, the quality of the content. In other cases, you start to look to content that, okay, someone goes there, use AI and create some TV show that, okay, oh my God, this is awful. Uh, so <laughs> I think it's going to be, the impact will be uh, a little bipolar in that regard. And the market will have place for all of this. <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately, the market will have <laughs> uh, a place for both of them. Uh, so um, a year ago, we were talking about 2023 and trying yeah. to think about how it's, the year was going to be. 
when you're on? What's your balance? How, how was it for you guys? So, of course, as a startup, all years are always very tough, okay? <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of <laughs> challenges. I'll, one more year uh, swimming against the tide. Uh, nonetheless, it was an interesting year, uh, especially, for instance, on the summer. In our case, it, we were very proud that every single eat uh, on the Hollywood on the summer use our technology like Michelin Impossible, Indiana Jones, Oppenheimer and Barbie. So pretty much all that summer it's using our technology and especially besides those movies we are talking like things like people like Richard King that does the sound designing for Christopher Nolan movies already with four Oscars or Gary Richstrom that is a legend that does all the Steinberg, all Stein, uh, Spielberg movies also using our technology. Of course, it was very rewarding to see our technology being used by these wonderful professionals and this fantastic uh, production. So you have good prospects for 2024? Yeah, in 2024, we are about to release our 3D sound over uh, headphones technology. It's something that uh, we are very happy with the result. We are pretty much doing the final touches because in terms of scalability and some other things, but we are very, very enthusiastic about next year and the release of this new technology to be able to bring audience sensitivity to experience 3D sound even with headphones. So you, you, you were able to raise uh, um, 2.5 million in yep. 2022, right? Uh, how important was that for you, that investment? Of course, it's... 22 was a tough year, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but it was very uh, uh, important uh, for us. It allowed us to start having someone full-time in LA instead of someone traveling like me a couple of uh, times a year. Of course, I still travel a lot, but the simple fact that we have someone there yeah. full-time, be able to do these contacts with the studios, it was a major uh, 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 important for us. And also at the same time, be able to increase the company, allow to uh, do much more deep tech research work, especially with 3D sound over headphones. It was very, very important for us. And of course, yes, if without that round, could we continue doing our path? Probably, but it would be much more difficult with better, worse results. So yeah, definitely a huge impact. Uh, in the company. Do you still have time to go to the cinema? Yeah, definitely. It's, <laughs> of course, I don't see the 200 movies I would see <laughs> per year like I did in the past. Nonetheless, uh, you can take me anything, but not the movies. <laughs> you can take them, the, how, do you, how they say, it? you can take Nuno from the movies, but not, mo not the movies from like Nuno. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much, Nuno. It was a pleasure. I hope to see you uh, next year here with yeah, us yeah. also again. Yeah. Uh, guys, you know, we, we will be live all day. Just uh, follow us at Next Big Idea LinkedIn. Click follow, we'll send you a notification every time we start a new conversation. Thanks.